What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Four Dummies. And tonight I am joined with the other three dummies. I have Mr. Robert Detoff. Hello. I have Mr. Just One. Yo, what's happening? And I have Mrs. Skullface. Hello. And tonight I am going to continue with our collection critiques. You know the routine, check your feelings at the door. You also know the routine if you want the real episode where you can hear the true thoughts and feelings of many of us. You can join the Patreon where you can hear the uncut version of this episode as well as all the previous episodes and even episodes that have been established and published as of just this month that have never seen the light of day, which is also true. Mm -hmm. Uh, With that being said, let's go ahead and get started and we'll go ahead and start with our first contestant, for lack of a better term for tonight, which is Vincent. So look... Look, I think Vincent has a good space, man. Like, yeah, I think he's got his stuff together. And I, his centerpiece, I think, is like the third picture in or whatever. And like, that is where he has two detoffs. They're on risers. They're both lit. He's adjusted them, which I think is lame, but he's adjusted them both equally, which I think does suggest a bit of sacrifice that I respect because he was able to sacrifice the shelf in order for them both to look symmetrical. And then in the middle, he has a like arc setup and a nemesis setup, and I don't hate them. And I think it's pretty sharp. Yeah, and I like these cubes that he's got underneath that of just these one-off I robots. Like, mm-hmm. that's super interesting. I think all these figures look good. Something about the backdrops for the Ark and the Nemesis they're flatten prints. everything out for me. Yeah, yeah no, I know, but there's something about it that doesn't work for me. And I know they look good, but something about it takes away. I think because you have the way that you have these three black cubes with the lighting in one figure and they fill up the right. space just right, that seems so high level. And right. then, for whatever reason, the, the paper prints... Well, lowers right. it down a little bit. Let me add something right. to that. I think it might also be that like the three black cubes offer some dramatic lighting. Yeah. And mm-hmm. the other two are just sort of your typical what I have, to be fair, your over the head facing down lighting. Where like the bottom three, the movie ones, have a little bit more dramatic ones. But I, I'll say that like I agree with you. I think they the background seem flat. Like they seem lifeless. But like because that's the only background that he has it seems charming to me. It doesn't seem goofy. Like if he had right. backgrounds and all the detoffs, I'd be like, well, that doesn't work quite know. as well. But like, I think it, because it's just these two punctuations or what would you call it? Like, um, accents, like right. accent spaces. I think it actually does work. I think pops display like shit, no matter how hard you try. Well, yeah, but They're what I least, would say like, is very neat. Actually, I disagree with that, but I would, I do appreciate that. He put his, um, he's got Megatron and Soundwave with, the Toy World Devastator. I do appreciate that. I love that. But I, hate I gotta that. say... That- I hate that, by the way. <laughs> Why? Um, because I think it actually takes away from it. I think it makes the space look cluttered that could look neat and purposeful. And now you have all this extracurricular bullshit hanging around that you don't need. Well, I think the problem, one problem, and it sucks because you could tell he put effort, he made sacrifice. He still has a vertical space issue with the yep. two combiner shells. Yep. And if you notice, he's standing them on little risers already. Yeah, I agree. I think if you actually put Devastator in a more like Raiden pose when he wins Mortal Kombat with like the one arm up, like I did it, you know, like as opposed to like, two arms down and you got rid of the little meaningless stuff at the bottom you'd have a more purposeful display. Or you could get higher um, risers, okay? Because if they were double mm. or triple that height, See, I you think- would fill in the vertical <clears throat> space. But, 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 but the bottom clear vertical space could be occupied by a few legends. I think it's tricky, With- man, because I think the fact that you don't necessarily notice that this Devastator is on risers is the charm to it. it like, uh, like, uh, go ahead, It's Jess. because of the legends, oh. though. Look no, at it's not. No, it's it, not. Look at Brutus. No. No, I, just, I agree with Rob. I think the Megatron and the Soundwave are the problem. I no, agree. But they're, look at Bruticus. He looks like he's the, floating. No, the Bruticus looks fine. It looks good being in there. It, the Megatron look- and the Soundwave being in there makes you aware of the space that's not being filled. 100%. And if you take those out, it okay, matches the yeah. Bruticus. And no, then you're it, right. And then it works. That's a good because point, they're actually. floating. It doesn't ground it. Those things ground it to the ground, and now yes. you realize that there's space above it. That's where at least the Bruticus point. is floating, and it doesn't. You're not. It looks like it's kind of centered that way. Hashtag good stop buying legends. Mm-hmm. Shut up. So, <laughs> they just need to come <laughs> out of there. Well, the worst and then part he's about got it really is the backdrops. You're right. The backdrops. Yeah. I, I, it just I, to me because it's so elevated. Like the white looks really nice. Everything looks crisp and clean, and then you just have these muted. Yeah. 
it I'll, just mutes everything. I'll tell you what. I, I think this guy has a great setup. I think he has yeah. one failure, and that's the wall with the Detolfs on a riser that are separated where it's aerial bots, stunicons, some sort of G.I. Joe thing maybe at the bottom, and then Inferno and Prowl and Jazz. and like That right. Detolf seems completely thrown away to me. He doesn't know what to do with it. He has What's these extra with- figures, and he's trying to sort them. He doesn't know what to do with it. Yeah, you may be better off having a bookcase there. Yeah. What's up Instead. with that space? The space next to his desk seems unused wall space. That's fair. That that's be fair. A closet. It's probably a closet door, because I feel like that's mm-hmm. why that cuts out. Mm-hmm. I bet you it's a, it's a closet that You're that goes into. Right. And then mm-hmm. I would just hide the wires underneath the thing. Yeah, the wires. You know, underneath this floating shelf. The wires. If you just get rid of that closet, you, you know what that closet's full of? Boxes. Yeah, the boxes. boxes. Yeah. Thank you. Boxes. Get rid of the closet, get rid of the boxes, and you can get yourself four billies in that corner. <laughs> but I mean, look, it's a small room, especially you can see because, you know, you're walking in there and it's just hard to take photos of everything. But I think you've done a good job and made the most of this space oh, that yeah. you have. Yeah. And I, now it's just kind of playing with it. You know what I mean? Like, I would have liked to have seen that whole computer <clears throat> desk, just that whole wall, yeah. just to see what that looks like, just so how it for, yeah, you know, fits the Yeah, the computer the desk seems a little elementary in comparison right. to the the elegance that you have set up. So so Laura, Laura, do you have a... Yeah, I don't think that the computer desk itself seems elementary. I think that, unfortunately, that file cabinet, which is probably necessary because there's like no storage. I think right. if it was just the desk without the file cabinet... Well, actually, you could get maybe would, a less industrial one and it, perhaps a more aesthetically pleasing fire. Yeah, or all white one. It, exactly. You know, yeah, that's what I mean. Like right. a, like if it were white... Yeah. Um, Ikea has really nice file cabinets, well, actually. It, it would also help ground that table with the skinny little legs on that, yeah, that computer table. If you had a, a, like a, a wooden white file cabinet there to match the desk, it yeah. would help ground it all, I think. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The one with the halo, that, so that part of the detoff, I think, stresses me out the most, halo. actually. It's oh. Halo, you're right. Yeah, Halo, she called it. Um. So I don't know oh, what Beyonce. we need to do. Oh, is it I Halo? I, I thought it was a G.I. Joe thing. I don't know if we need to, that that vertical space. Yeah, that, that whole, bit, that whole detoff needs to be rethought. Yeah. Yeah. So moving on to the next one, this is Sergey or Sergi, and I want to go out and let you guys know ahead of time that these are custom cases. They're not Maja cases, but oh, all right, that's cool. They are cool. The Dinobot layout is cool. I just, I mean, it's cool. It's the X factor. <laughs> 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 X. This is great. It's so much yeah. to try to. This is great. But it's Ooh, off. I love the f-ing Stunicon one. Woo! It's well laid out. Like he gets it. He one hundred percent. Yeah. Gets it. I like these this like is... little mini shelves in the corners. You know, it's like a riser, but not the mini yeah. floating shelves. Yeah. Okay. So I would say that perhaps if you were to compare this Stunicon one with the Dinobot one. The Dinobot one is more successful because the swoop is elevated to the middle of the X. Mm -hmm. And the Motormaster here is too low. And then he crouched him down on top of that. I feel like it looks like he's like charging out of there. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't. I feel like this is a guy who totally won a whole unique and creative way specifically. Yeah. Like this is everything we're telling people to do. I agree, but I think if you lift that Motormaster up, it means more. So I don't know. Uh, like, I hear you. I guess right, right. I hear you there. You're gonna but have. You're gonna it, have. Theoretically, one day you're gonna have a dead end on that other space, right? No, no, right. No, no, right. And then right. you're gonna have that huge empty space there in the middle. And like he did it with the swoop. Look at the swoop and compare it. It's like Jesus swoop. I love it. Yeah, it's perfect. Right. No, I see it. My my problem with this i just don't like that that fan so i stand but right i see what you're saying because it's centered but i think the reason why the stunicons one works better for me is partly because of this tornado in the background yeah you have this the, lightning the bolt that comes through the lightning bolt adds to like the i don't know adds to the to the vibe of the whole thing so i yeah, think and, you can block and that and you take something the, out he's he's at the perspective point too his head you know, it's like all the energy is coming from him as the leader and yeah. it's like shooting towards you. Oh, I say I don't think anybody's wrong. Like, this is the thing. This is where it just comes down to personal preference. I think this guy's figured out what works for him in his collection and his space. Mm-hmm. And now we're just nitpicking just based on personal preference. I do think that like a little bit of like tip of the hat needs to go to him in the sense that like these are all custom made shelves. Yeah, right. he, he did this all on his own. And that is 
quite clever. And like, Impressive. there's even like some plants in real life. Like, you can tell there's a couch at the end next to the plants. Like, there's living space incorporated in here, which is it's meant to be like a full living space, which I'm always right. a, a proponent of. My only complaint about this whole thing is the negative space in the corners where the cases come together. He needs to get mm-hmm. like one of those like life size statues or something, you know, mm-hmm. put it in the corner. I don't yeah, know what the answer something. is there. Yeah, you should, because you can't black it out because or maybe you can do <coughs> floating shelves. Actually, shelf. I maybe think you he could, could do, black it out. Maybe you could do floating shelves. I think he could black it out. That you would I don't see. think so. Because I think if you did floating shelves, like that line between the two shelves would be irritating. I think if you were to black out the side shelves of the corners, you would actually have a more meaningful looking area. Would a lamp be weird? Some kind of cool, tall lamp that's remote? It would would, would have to be be very cool. It would have to be very cool. And the light can't be too bright, but it's possible. But even like the the shelves that he has, like if you look at this one with like um, Skywarp, Starscream, he's got the Make Toys Seekers, which I like, and then he's got a Quake Blast and a Megatron and the the three Insecticons, the three Reflectors. Like, I mean, it looks sharp, dude. This dude got it. This dude, this hey, you get it, buddy. We've got, I, I, we've yeah. got, we we've got little like, hey, you could do this, you could do that, or contemplate this, contemplate that. But you get it. I don't. I like think the... this would be in top ten. Sorry, I'm not to cut you off, and I'm gonna let you finish. But I think this would be in my top <laughs> ten of stuff that we've seen. I agree. So far, I agree. Yeah. Like, I mean, look at the movie shelf he has with like the Ultra Magnus and. RC, like the figures are posed, they're lit, he's got backgrounds, they've got space. Like this dude gets it, man. Knockout. This and is you a knockout. Shelf. Yeah, this you is can a already knockout. tell I, which combiners are going in each one of these cubes just based on the backgrounds. No, he did a good job. Good job, man. Yeah, good job. Good job. Good job. Let's move on to Keith P, which I think is secretly KFC Keith. Oh, oh. his collection better be great. Keith I hope Payne. it's not. Heavy Star Wars collection. Whoa, Whoa. Rancor. Yeah. So uh, yeah, right off the bat, he's got way too much stuff. He does, but I gotta be honest. I, I don't. I think it's kind of cool. I don't hate this. It just man. needs to spread out more. I love the stuff. I just wish there was more room to see it. It's just too shiny. This. The it's shelf the is so shiny. It's the top Ooh. top shelf of that squiggly one that I think is a little bit much for me. But it's the, the lights are reflecting there too. The bottom too, I kind of like. Yeah, I don't I hate like, this. Yeah, that squiggly one is tacky, man. I don't it's hate just this like, like nouveau riche display. If you look at like the huge space that he has for like stuff it's all quarter scale there's some customs in there oh it's beautiful. I, like I think it's beautiful. I don't. I think you it's like beautiful. the wavy, but you like the wavy case. So like, so like, I don't think I would choose it. Yeah, I don't think it's bad. But I don't think it's bad. Like it's something Stuff's different, and, and, and and like and like because it's wavy, it actually allows for a more dynamic layout. Like that. If you look at that <laughs> that, that middle shelf, right? He's got um, Luke, Leia, three PO, R two, BB eight, Han, Chewie. Those are all quarter scale statues, and That's they're crazy. displaying like six scale statues because of the. The space he allotted for them and i understand right. the skill that that takes yeah yeah it's true you get bb8 out of there yeah they are put in there like they do fill the space they fill yeah. the space intentionally right. yep yeah is that the jedi council on top so it's hard to tell so he's got like a there's a darth maul to the left and then there's mace oh. Yoda. I think these are hot toys up top. These are hot toys up top. Is that Yoda and Yaddle or just two Yodas? It's prequel and original trilogy Yoda. This is sick. This is, I mean, the, the pieces themselves are cool and I can understand, Jesus, I mean, how much room can you take up? I just feel like some of these things are a little too crowded. Some of them. Like the I one feel- with. I feel like it, I feel like there's no room to fart here. Like, let me say that. Like, right. I don't. I like. There's like. There's you. You can't add anything to the display. But like, I'm okay with it. Like, look at this picture with like the Rancor and Jabba and all yeah. that. Like, it's filled to capacity. You got these quarter scale. It's all quarter scale at the top with that Darth Maul is fifth scale. And then you got these helmets underneath. Then underneath you have these huge pieces with a couple. Like I think. Yeah, I, I know. I actually really like it. So I think this Boba Fett. I'm, I, I'm not an expert at this stuff, but I think this Boba Fett is a quarter scale Boba Fett, right? Boba Fett. Where? And then the top shelf is all six scale bounty hunters behind him. Then the bottom shelf has Han and Carbonite, which he took to slave one, which you can also see in the lower left hand corner. And then the lower right hand corner is the Mandalorian skull. <laughs> it's like it may be crowded. It may be better off if you took all the stuff out of the bottom stuff like if you took han and slave one and the skull and the gun out of there it'd probably be better but i do get it 
Yeah, I realized the the issue for me with this first shelf, you know, just just to go back to it, it's the mirrored back makes it look more crowded than it right, is. Right, correct. And uh, I think but some so of that might be just the me figuring photo that out. too. Do you know what I mean? The it, fact it, that it like could photoing be, yeah. a mirror with lights, like it's hard to to make that look. And these are custom detolfs. So he's got a quarter scale in the bottom of this custom detolf, like, and it doesn't look insane. <laughs> oh, I see what he did right. He used plexiglass to fill yeah. the detolf. Yeah, yeah. I see. I see. Okay. Yeah, like he like this is not a bad setup, man. It's 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 pushed to its max. But <laughs> but it's not a bad setup. I think my least favorite are those Emperor and Kylo Ren, but I, I would like to see it zoomed out so I can see what else is happening. Do you know what I mean? But I actually really like the squiggly case, and I really like the... Um, whatever this is i think each thing independently looks interesting i think when you look at the very first photo of the whole space is less interesting to me yeah i so, so i agree with, you. I agree, with you I agree yeah. with you when you when you look at the whole space from that angle it appears less than what it actually is and that's the kind of thing that like i'm looking for now we're looking at all these things because yeah individually you know how to curate a shelf but now you need to kind of figure out how to curate that whole space I'm not mad at that. Let's look at the last one. This is Happy Accident. I know this gentleman, as a matter of fact. Whoa. So it's not great. <laughs> it's not awful either, but it is a, like, this dude has a serious Masters of the Universe collection. Yeah. So, Happy Accident, there's two simple things that will solve all of this for you. Uh, dioramas and lights. Yeah, you're just, your collection's just dated, especially for now, like, the way that, like, even just the trends are going, not even with your shelves, but just the way that figures are displayed, things are lighted. You know, I think what I think you need is a, just a restructuring of yeah. everything that you're displaying. Yeah. Because I'm, you have a lot of cool stuff in here and there's a lot of cool stuff you could be doing. So you're doing your collection a disservice right now by just kind of throwing it all on the shelf. Yeah. Like all of So like, I don't know if I feel like that's fair. I don't think he's just thrown uh, any of it into the no, shelf. No, I don't think he's thrown it in there. I think a lot but of it is very purposeful. I agree. I think those brown square shelves aren't doing anything, any favors. But like, I think... It, Imagine these shelves with backgrounds. Imagine these shelves with dioramas where you could create the risers with the diorama and then light every shelf. This is a knockout collection because he's got the stuff. He's got a Castle of Grayskull and... Um, Snake Mountain next to each other. They're, they're the originals, but I think that there's a charm to that. Like, I think this is a matter of curating. He's got plenty of space. Oh, yeah. He's got plenty of space, right? So it's, the space isn't an issue. He just needs to display these things more meaningfully, but they're all, they're, they're, I had that sheer. They're with the appropriate characters. They are posed. There's the right piece. Like, it's just, light them up give them backgrounds they're good to go i think is this the he-man thing this dragon with the metal hat yeah <laughs> i don't know why that's <laughs> see that thing's interesting to me no that's what i say yeah i just think i think right i just think it needs just some re some curating is there is the exact word it's time to curate you got all the stuff don't you don't need any more stuff <laughs> it's just time to <laughs> make it all work but it, it's not it's just the, it's the finishing touches to me <laughs> do you think the wood has a green hue to it or is it his lighting that's giving everything a green hue yeah and it, everything does look green. Sounds off about that. It's one of those things where like, look, man, we, the more we stare at this, the more it's it's going, I feel it turning. I feel the time turning. I think there's just a lot of green <clears throat> in that room, honestly, with like, new, you know, like really neutral light colored walls. That yeah, I think so too. So. It's, it's, it's all the stuff bouncing off of it. Like it's the gray skulls everywhere. Like, I think it's just, it, there's green boxes. Like, I think there's, like, I think this is fine. I think if this collection was lit and had backgrounds that provided risers, we wouldn't skip a beat. It's just like, you have everything ready to go to phase two. Tornado. The fear core text chain that you were talking about earlier. I want to oh, yeah. That. Uh, I'll send that. The AHU logo. Well, he was The definition hard. of a bad idea. I want a small bird that was left on his display. <laughs> 